scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, and who bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is great. Are you ready for tonight? Media help us with the flag of Canada. We're going to pray for Canada immediately. Immediately. We're going to be prophesying over Canada. Is someone ready to pray? It's called the sound of revival. The Bible says, son of man, can these bones live again? And he says, only thou knowest. And he says, prophesy. We're about to prophesy. I want you to stretch your hands to the screen. And we're going to be speaking to the soul of Canada. We'll be declaring that Canada would hear the word of the Lord. That everything that has died or is dying in the name of Jesus, that it comes back to life. Are there prayerful people in this place? Everyone say after me, Father, we declare over Canada in the name of Jesus, let the old season go and let the new season come. Let old things go and let the new come. Go ahead and begin to pray. The old season, the old season. In the name of Jesus, Canada, hear the word of the Lord. Let the old season go. In the name of Jesus, unprofitable policies that they will go, they will fade with yesterday. We are declaring, go ahead and pray. This is a sound of revival. We are praying over Canada. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Now we are going to prophesy godliness, peace, prosperity. One more time, godliness, peace, prosperity over Canada. Hallelujah. It is important to pray this over Canada because in her prosperity is your own prosperity. Is someone ready to pray that we declare godliness, a reign of righteousness, that everything that is anti-Christ as a church, we banish it out of this city. Are we in agreement? And that we establish the purposes of God that revivals will break in homes, break in schools, that people on their own will have encounters, encounters with the spirit of grace. Open your mouth and begin to pray. A reign of righteousness, a reign of godliness over Canada. Declare peace, peace to her walls, peace to her borders, peace to her walls, peace to her borders. We speak over the north, the south, the east, the west of Canada. Come on, do I have intercessors in this place? Pray over the peace of Canada. Shh. 
Shabalaka Parakato Prasabalaka Pa. We declare a reign of godliness, a reign of righteousness, a reign of peace, a reign of prosperity in the name of Jesus, a reign of peace, a reign of prosperity. Shalabalaka paraka paratos. Peace. In Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Two more prayer points and we'll be seated. We are going to pray for the church in Canada. The church in Canada. We are going to declare that the church will rise as one army. Not necessarily in uniformity, but in unity. Unity does not mean uniformity. It means one spirit, one heart, one intent, one goal. Are we together? It is only the church that sustains the power to drive out darkness. It says, I will build my church and the gates of hell. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome, you overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. So we're going to pray upon every man and woman of God, every denomination here represented, every pastor. We are going to pray that there'll be no distraction, that Christ will be the focal point as far as the church in Canada is concerned. That anyone who will come with the spirit of error, let the gates of Canada drive them back. Anyone who will come to steal, kill and destroy in disguise of the gospel, we raise a standard in the spirit. Are you ready to pray? Open your mouth and begin to pray. Mention the cities. Pray for every man of God. Pray for every woman of God. Pray for every prophet, every apostle, every teacher, every pastor, every evangelist, every missionary. Someone is praying that the cause of Christ will thrive in Canada. That the church will have influence. They will command influence. They are a light that cannot be hidden. We are praying over the church in Canada. Advancement, forward ever, forward ever. Massive salvation of souls, the transformation of the saints, the empowerment of the saints, an emergence of witnesses, witnesses with power. Witnesses with grace, witnesses with fire. Hallelujah. Final prayer. We are going to come against every territorial power. The spirits that sit over regions and manipulate the thoughts of men and introduce policies that are antichrist. There are spirits that rule within the heavenlies, manipulating the thoughts of men, programming a, a, a demography of children so that they walk inconsistent with God's ways. But the Bible says, wherefore God had so highly exalted him and given him a name, an office that is above every other name, that at the name of Jesus, every knee, is that still in your Bible? 
every knee shall bow of things in heaven of things in the earth of things under the earth and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God the Father someone shout say after me Father we dethrone powers we dethrone altars we dethrone forces of darkness fighting your purposes over Canada and we establish the Lordship of Jesus open your mouth and pray oh we dethrone we dethrone we dethrone Shaleke peke parakata. We dethrone every horn that has been exalted, fighting Judah, fighting Israel, fighting Jerusalem. We come against you. We are the carpenters, sent with fire, sent with power. In the name of Jesus, we are the saviors that arise in power, judging the Mount of Israel. someone pray invest one more minute over the destiny of Canada over the destiny of Canada there is only one king there is only one savior his name is Jesus the king of kings the lord of lords he is called Alpha he is called Omega the beginning and the end there are kings there are kingdoms there are mountains and there are thrones but only a Shua will reign forever to his kingdom there'll be no end there are names, there are titles, there are legends and tales of strength, but only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom there'll be only a Shua will reign forever. To his kingdom. There'll be no way, only a Shua will reign forever. Hallelujah. Before you sit down, we are going to shout. We did it in the US and we'll do it here. Seven hallelujahs. Hallelujah means halal Yeshua. Praise the Lord. Lift up an incense of praise. The Bible says God is gone up with a shout. Are you ready to shout? I'm going to request Pastor Nat to blow the trumpet. And when you hear the sound of the trumpet, let it be as you standing before the wall of Jericho. We are going to shout at the seventh shout. Everything that is inconsistent with the speakings of Christ over you and over Canada, it must drop finally. Don't spare your shout. It's a prophetic shout. The Bible says the shout of a king is a midst of them. That the shouts of joy and victory shall not depart from the tent of the righteous. Are you ready for that shout? For someone that shout means your old season has come to an end. That you are stepping into the new. A prophetic new. Go ahead sir. That's shout number one. That's shout number two. That's shout number three. That's shout number four. That's shout number five. That's shout number six. Are you ready now? Your final shout. Burying every Jericho that these Egyptians you see today at the shout, the seventh shout, you will see them no more forever. Are you ready now? Seven. Yeah. 
hallelujah hallelujah the shout of the king it's in the midst of her the shout of the king is in the midst of her hallelujah hallelujah in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ listen you see the wisdom of the spirit is by far more superior than any kind of intelligence you can find on earth it is the wisdom of the spirit that turns ordinary men to signs and wonders and all through this conference among the many things you have been learning is the wisdom of the just Luke 1 17 there is such a thing as the wisdom of the just the wisdom the Bible says has been hidden but ordained for our glory glory is connected to wisdom there is a communication of the wisdom of the spirit that when you encounter your life cannot but be a sign and a wonder it says I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and for wonders in Israel you believe that and so tonight I'm going to give you a final charge before we get into the miracle service proper already many things many amazing things are happening in the name of Jesus Christ and let me request my dear people that you lend me your rapt attention for this final session so that you can connect with the anointing tonight and God will do us good in Jesus name please be victoriously seated victoriously seated hallelujah we'll consider as a final charge the final part of our series lampstands we've been looking at the series for this conference lamb stands part one yesterday night we considered god's end time agenda and this morning we considered part two of lamb stands lighting the fire and tonight for a final session we are considering part three lamb stands territorial revival I want to show you how territories are taken for Jesus. It's important for you to know that revivals are threefold. They are at three levels. There is personal revival that affects the individual. Number two, there is revival within the ecclesia, the body of Christ. Number three, there is territorial revival. Hallelujah. I may not have the luxury and the liberty to recap on yesterday night and this morning. I pray and hope that you have the time to go through the teachings like a student should. Submit yourself, listen again, listen again until light comes into your spirit. Are you ready now? Psalm 33 and verse 12 will be very, very fast. Very fast. Psalm 33 and verse 12. Read with me if you find it projected. I can see it here. Can you see yours? All right, let's go. One to read. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he had chosen for his own inheritance. One more time. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord and the people whom he had chosen for his inheritance. Hallelujah. So the Bible says a nation can choose God as their Lord. A nation can submit to the governing influence of Jesus. Not just a small people's groups, not just a family, not just an individual. Nations can come under the governing influence of Jesus. Hallelujah. It's important for you to understand this. What does it mean for a territory to experience revival? Write this down. Territorial revival is about preserving and promoting, number one, God consciousness. Number two, true spirituality. 
Number three, moral excellence. Number four, advancement. I'll take that again. Territorial revival is about preserving and promoting. Number one, God consciousness. Number two, true spirituality. Number three, moral excellence. Number four, advancement in all its ramification. When these four happen within any territory, a revival at a territorial level has happened. So revival at a territorial level is a restoration, preservation, and promotion of God consciousness, true spirituality, moral excellence, and advancement in every area of life. Please give us Daniel chapter 3, 27 to 30. This, in my opinion, is one of the most graphic representations of territorial revival. Daniel chapter 3, we're reading from verse 27 down to 30. Daniel 3, 27 and 30. The Bible says, And the princes, this was after Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the fire. Remember the story? So the story has it that the king built a 90 feet statue on Nebuchadnezzar and he said at the sound of every instrument everyone was to bow but there were three Hebrew boys that refused that they would not bow even though they were people who respected the king as a result they were thrown into fire that was made seven times hotter and the Bible tells us that they were unharmed so follow through to 30 and the princes governors and captains and the king's counselors being gathered together saw this man i like this upon whom the bodies the fire had no power nor was an hair of their head sinked neither were their coats changed nor the smell of fire had passed upon them 28 then watch territorial revival now nebuchadnezzar spake and said Blessed be the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, who had sent his angel and delivered his servants that trusted in him and had changed the king's word. Any king's word can change. He changed the king's word and yielded their bodies that they might not serve or worship any god except their own god. As a result, therefore... This is what happens when a territory experiences a revival. I make a decree. Someone say decree. A decree is a policy. A decree is not a suggestion. A decree is a policy backed by law that every people, nation, language, which speak anything amiss against the God of Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego shall be cut in pieces and their houses shall be made a dunghill because there is no other God that can deliver after this sort. Then the king promoted Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego in the province of Babylon. Say amen. amen. Territories can experience revival when there is a restoration, preservation, and promotion of God consciousness true spirituality, moral excellence, and advancement. Are we learning already? Now, very quickly, I want to share with you four principles that enhance or birth territorial revivals. We've dealt with personal revival. We've dealt with revival within the church. But now we want to look at how to be a blessing to the territory. Hallelujah. There are four keys I want to give you very quickly and then we'll begin to pray. Are you ready? The first key that allows for territorial revival when you want to see God move across a territory bringing about the preservation and the promotion of God consciousness, true spirituality, moral excellence and advancement the first key is warfare 
and prophetic intercession. Warfare and prophetic intercession. Warfare and prophetic intercession. Warfare and prophetic intercession. I'm going to be very, very fast. You know by now that there are spirits assigned to individuals. There are spirits assigned to ministerial offices. But there are spirits assigned to territories. I hope you know that the boisterous wind that was interrupting Jesus' journey to Gadara was demonic. Because when Jesus got to the other side, the first person he met was a madman with a legion of demons. Who told the madman Jesus was on his way coming? The Bible says the man hid in caves, but he suddenly came out and was waiting for the arrival of Jesus. The spirits knew he was coming and they caused a boisterous storm. That's why Jesus did not say the weather forecast today says it's rainy. He said, peace be still. Because he was not just speaking to a weather condition. The Bible says there arose a storm of wind. And once the storm resided, they were at the other side. And he meets this man full of a legion of demons. Watch this. And the man tells Jesus, why are you here to destroy us before our time? And then Jesus rebukes the spirit, sends them into a swine. Notice what happened as a result of that encounter. The businesses of certain people failed immediately. The spirits left the man. That means there were some people who were not just prospering economically. It was a transaction with spirits. As soon as a man was delivered, other people lost immediately. And they said, go out of our city. You are disrupting status quo. Hmm. There are spirits that mount the pillars of cities, regions, and territories. And you never prosper within that city until you come into covenant with those powers and those spirits. Are we together? And so you find out that those who love Jesus never seem to advance, excel. They are brought under servitude and there are others who may not be, you know, in love with the things of the spirit and they seem to excel. Learn this Canada. Learn this koinonia. There are spirits across regions and the saints must understand the art of warfare and prophetic intercession. If you are to tear those barriers open and allow the purposes of God at a territorial level to be established in your land. What is warfare? Warfare is not about fighting demons. No. You are already in error if you find yourself that way. Warfare is about establishing experientially the victory that is already wrought and finished in Christ. You are superimposing that victory. Are we together? You are engaging by faith insisting that that victory be established over lives over territories that's what we call warfare you engage all the forces of the spirit the force of the blood the force of the name the force of the word together to see to it that it happens in earth as it is in heaven that's what we call warfare warfare must be from a standpoint of victory already that you understand that all power, all authority in the heavens and the earth has been given to Jesus and you've been sent with that name. So you establish by the power of the Holy Spirit that which is consistent with the counsel of heaven over your land per time, per season. Let me tell you this. A territory that lacks prophetic intercessors will remain a victim of demonic manipulations. A territory that lacks prophetic intercessors. Perhaps by this teaching, God is telling someone now, you need to arise and take your place as a prophetic intercessor over Canada. I'm praying in the name of Jesus that among the many graces that will fall here tonight, let the grace for prophetic intercession 
men and women who have mastered the art of holding on to the four horns of the altar that you travail like Anna the prophetess until you birth possibilities in your land until you birth possibilities in this nation you travail like a woman as soon as Zion travails as soon as Zion travails over the economy as soon as Zion travails over the children as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a son hallelujah the bible gives us two mysteries in heaven among them there was a mystery of a woman who was about to give birth to a man child the bible says when the woman was at the point of travail a dragon suddenly appeared waiting to eat that vision to eat that prophecy hallelujah rescue came for her and she was taken to a safe place where she delivered prophetic intercession is partnership with heaven to enforce heaven's will within a territory genuine intercession is born out of two revelations number one love for jesus and his people number two the principle of shared dominion you cannot be a true intercessor if you do not love jesus and you do not love people number two if you do not understand the principle of shared dominion shared dominion means that man has been given dominion upon the earth but our dominion is not absolute dominion our dominion is derived from our relationship that means outside of our relationship with jesus we cannot have and we cannot manifest dominion and that there is a jurisdictional component to our dominion the heaven of heavens belong to the lord but the earth hath he given to the children of men so Ezekiel 22 and verse 30 says, I sought for a man who will stand in the gap. He will make up the edge for the land that I should not destroy it, but I found none. Tonight God has found men. Shout a believing amen. Tonight God has found men. Prophetic intercessors. With all due respect, let me encourage the churches and, and um, men and women of God, co-laborers in the vineyard, let us create dedicated moments within our assemblies where we teach the people the art of warfare, biblical warfare and prophetic intercession. And I'm praying that every group, every prayer group that has risen and is being fought by dark powers, being fought by dark spirits, being frustrated in the name of Jesus, let fire come upon that altar now. In the name of Jesus. Number two, very quickly. The second principle that is responsible for territorial, territorial revival is an open display of the supernatural. You cannot have territorial revival when there is no open display of miracles, signs, and wonders. Miracles, signs, and wonders. Acts chapter 4. Please give us from verse 13. Miracle, signs, and wonders. An open display of the manifestation of the power of God across that territory. The Bible says, Now when they saw the boldness of Peter and John and perceived that they were unlearned and ignorant men, they marveled and they took knowledge of them that they had been with Jesus. Next verse. The Bible says, we're reading down, and beholding the man, watch this, who had been healed with them they could not say anything against it next verse but when they had commanded them to go aside out of the council they conferred among themselves uh-huh reading down to 21 next verse please saying what shall we do to this man we don't know what to do with this man for indeed this is territorial revival a notable miracle had been done by them is manifest to all that dwell in Jerusalem. And we cannot deny it. We cannot deny that someone was delivered from the prison. We cannot deny that someone who was once incarcerated is now a responsible young man. There has to be a force responsible for that. We cannot deny that someone who's been trusting God for her papers at the instance of one prophetic word 
by the next day the email came the email did not come it was brought by prophecy a notable miracle it says but that it spread no further among the people let us straightly threaten them you see that that they speak henceforth no man in his name and they called them and commanded them not to speak or to teach in the name of Jesus. You can say any other thing. Provided there will be no signs and wonders. You can discuss anything. Provided the name of Jesus will not be part of that discussion. Hear their reply. And Peter and John. But Peter and John answered and said unto them. Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you. More than unto God. Judge ye. Next verse. For we cannot but speak the things which we have seen and heard. Uh-huh. The Bible says, when they further threatened them, they let them go, finding nothing how they might punish them because of the people. What was the result of their witness? For all men glorified God for that which was done. Not just that which was said, for that which was done. When there is an open display of signs and wonders not just in churches are we together now i look forward to times where someone will come into a hospital as a doctor treating patients and when you see that medically this patient is about to die you drop your stethoscope for a while and say i'm not just a medical practitioner i am a life-giving spirit in the name of the lord jesus christ I lay my hands upon you and I declare life, life to your spirit, life to your organs, life to your kidneys, life, life. And then there is data driven evidence that all the patients that come to this client for some strange reason they do not die, for some strange reason they recover. Please talk to me. Do you think promotion will come to that man? Absolutely. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Listen very carefully. Is someone learning now? For there is only one name. There is only one name. With power to say. With power to say There is only one name Over Canada There is only one name With power to say With power to say An open display an open display that when they see a believer they don't just see a nuisance to civilization when they see a new a believer they don't just see a noisemaker a believer is a sign and a wonder a believer is a blessing you are the seed of abraham there's the prophetic word upon you that in thee shall the families of the earth be blessed listen listen don't just come into canada to receive from canada Come into Canada in the name of the Lord. Come in as a triumphant entry. I have come to dislodge powers. I have come sent by God like an arrow shot from his quiver. Hallelujah. Take away the mentality of a needy. See yourself as a blessing. Are we together? Spiritual resources are real resources spiritual resources are superior resources don't say i don't have anything no you are lying spiritual resources are real resources such as i have in the name of jesus the name is something a man can have an open display I'm trusting that our churches will burn with fire like never before. That when unbelievers are looking for solutions beyond science, 
the recommended place not by fanatism by proof by track record the the recommended place to find help he says send you help from his sanctuary you want to see revivals in your territory there must be men and women who understand the art of warfare and prophetic intercession then there must be lampstands men that burn and shine walking real genuine provable miracles signs and wonders not on the pulpit on the streets and everywhere that like jacob you are employed in an organization and if they ask you what are you offering you may tell them i'm bringing my cv but in the spirit i'm also bringing grace i'm bringing grace to that company don't you think when you are employed you are only bringing an academic cv no i represent the presence of god in this company driving this favor and like laban the statistics will show that something is changing in this company and whether by divination or whatever they will investigate and find out that you are the singular force responsible for the stability of this company the light shineth in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not shout amen very quickly number three the third key that controls territorial revival are you ready is value and productivity now please pay attention value and productivity solutions that are needed and useful that better the lives of people within a territory this is how territorial revival happens the bible calls us salt the bible calls us light matthew 5 13 to 16. please hear me believers the church is not a bunch of fanatics who are a nuisance to advancement we are contributors are we together to the progress of any nation there is a narrative about the church that has been sold that is dangerous and must be redefined so people look at an average believer as a nuisance to technology a nuisance to economic advancement that our only relevance is in the area of driving demons no sir read your bible the first manifestation of the holy spirit in the bible was as a creative spirit did you get that god gave us a mind and empowered that mind supernaturally to birth solutions solutions that bless all and sundry joseph was one who was in covenant with god and on account of the investment of the spirit upon his mind he interpreted a dream but he offered an economic solution at a national scale and in one moment pharaoh said i am pharaoh and it is only upon the throne that i will be greater than you but as far as administration policy formulation and execution is concerned you are in charge of egypt when you become valuable i assure you no one will ask you where you are coming from no valuable men are scarce when you press by the spirit and press through the wisdom of the spirit to be one who is productive and valuable productive and valuable productive and valuable there is a relationship between laziness and poverty there is a relationship between laziness and poverty a little sleep a little slumber a little folding of the eyes and poverty comes upon you as an armed bandit the bible says a diligent hand shall be made fat is that true he who will not sow as a result of the cold he will beg in harvest the church of the lord jesus christ must be a collection of productive people translate your praying into tongues to ideas that can can turn your society to a safe heaven don't make praying in tongues look like a fanatic's recommendation for mediocrity translate your praying in tongues the bible says daniel told the king he said don't be hasty in meting out judgment give me some time then the bible says daniel 2 i think verse 28 then the secret was revealed unto daniel 
Daniel, even as a eunuch, he reigned through the dispensation of at least four kings. Governments came and went and nobody could bring him down because he had an excellent spirit. Someone say an excellent spirit. Say that again. Say an excellent spirit. Let me challenge you believers. If you need to get more certification to give you strength and stamina and credence among your peers, go for it. If it takes you learning and taking extra courses, pray in tongues on one hand, invest in your mind on another hand. Cast out the spirit of laziness. Believers are not dummies. You cannot, you become a slave when your mind is a slave. Territorial revival. So like Nehemiah, with one hand you hold the sword, but with another hand you build. With one hand you hold the sword, but with another hand you build. Go and learn about real estate. Go and learn about leadership. Go and develop your mind. Be exceptional. You are a public speaker. Work on yourself as God grants grace. Are we together? Know your job well. Invest in yourself. Learn about finances. Don't say it's not necessary. Learn about leadership. Learn about relationships. Translate your spirituality to solutions. Make up your mind that I will not be ignored. No. I will not be ignored. Not by sentiments. Make up your mind. Let the spirit Spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Let your spirit, spirit of wisdom, rest on me, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. Oh, rest on me. We're honored to have very great people in our midst, and I'm happy. That we have a collection of people here who are not just spiritual but people who are experts in their field we're honored to have one of the professors john hopkins here dr eke great man we've done a few projects back at home and in fact i just spotted him now um the mayor three-time mayor from the united states please can you stand for identification god bless you thank you please be seated the church is not a collection of dummies. I repeat it again. We have IT experts and IT specialists here. Go all the way. Go and register a company. Become a consultant. Talk to kings. Serve kings. When you serve kings, you are brought out of the dungeon into the palace. Kings don't live in the prison. I made up my mind as a man of God that I will never raise a people who are only spiritual. I will raise kings. Genesis 17 and verse 6. Read that and let this be a prophetic word for you. Genesis 17 and verse 6. One to go please. I will make thee exceeding fruitful and I will make nations of thee and kings shall come out of thee. I believe this. Koinonia, you are not weak. There is greatness and glory within you. That the tongues that you speak the confessions that you make, your learning must translate into excellence. Excellence that can be recognized. Excellence that cannot be denied. It gives you access to systems and structures. Gives you access to resources. By this charge, I cause the spirit of laziness. By this charge, I cause the spirit of excuses. One day I will register the company. Register it tomorrow. I don't know where the contract will come from. The signs follow. If you are not moving, the signs will not follow you. The first step is the hardest. Go for knowledge. If you don't have money, look for valuable relationships and submit to the knowledge you have available. Start your journey towards transformation. So number one, warfare and intercession. Are we still learning? Number two, signs and wonders. Number three, value and productivity. Can I tell you, 
if believers own the biggest malls here in Ontario, if believers own some of the, the flourishing businesses, if believers become the leaders of the field, you will have a voice that cannot be shot. A borrower is slave to the lender. The rich will always rule over the poor. Territorial revival. Hmm. Are we learning? Number four. The fourth key that controls territorial revival is called influence. 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 What is influence? The ability to make men buy into your convictions without using force or cruelty. It's called influence. And influence is a direct product of an exceptional life. Influence is not about looking for those to lead. It's serving your gift with such excellence that people recognize you and give you in return the gift of loyalty. Most believers do not appreciate influence. It is not humility for you to reject kingdom influence. Without kingdom influence, you cannot ex exercise the authority and promote the interests of, this, of the kingdom at a territorial level. If God is putting in your heart to get into politics, make sure you are mentored to gain stamina, but go. Fail honorably, but give your destiny a chance. I rebuke the spirit of fear. Most believers, listen, there are three kinds of fears you need to deal with. The fear of yesterday, the fear of today, and the fear of tomorrow. The fear of yesterday's failure. The fear of what people will say. Whether you fail or succeed, they will still speak. Are we together? I failed yesterday. So, the Bible says, though the righteous fall seven times, it will rise again. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, I will rise again. Is that not in your Bible? Hmm. Hmm. The fear of today and then the fear of tomorrow. Make up your mind to contend for kingdom influence. God's people must rise to prominence in leadership, God's people must rise to prominence in governance. God's people must rise to prominence across the economy. God's people must rise to prominence so as to preserve the interests of the kingdom at a territorial level. If the chief medical director or officer of a hospital is an anointed, spirit-filled, valuable believer... I can tell you the purposes of God will be established there no matter what policies are brought. He is too relevant to be ignored. Influence. Let me add one more. I thought I would leave it at four, but I'm tempted to add one more. This final one is very important. And if you did not get the four, listen to the fifth. Are you ready? An open display of love by the church void of prejudices void of biases and open display you want to see territorial revival it does not only end in signs and wonders there must be an open display of love love beyond culture love beyond religion the spirit of hate always produces losers for God so loved the world. Say that after me. For God so loved the world. Now, we don't condone sin, but you don't hate sinners. Hating sinners will never bring them to the cross. There must be an open display of the love of Jesus that transcends culture, that transcends religion, are we together? Love that translates as strategic community development projects. Strategic community development projects. The church is light. 
We should not just preach. We should not just sing songs of worship. We should not just prophesy and work miracles. We must get out there to the streets and though we cannot do everything, we, we can do something. Change someone's life. Let the government see you changing someone's life. You cannot drive what works. Are we together? Our hearts and our desire is to see the nations worship. Our cry and our prayer is to sing your praise to the earth that we want mighty voice every tribe and tongue rejoices our hearts and our desire is to see the nations worship him. listen to me I believe that there is a world out there that may not know what they are looking for a world of wounded people a world of confused people children who have come from dysfunctional families confused about their lives and destinies not everyone will hear the gospel on the pulpit someone will hear the gospel as you eat it as you eat the gospel as food and groceries then you will hear the voice of jesus through that act of welfare that i still love you the church must not be silent as far as community development projects are concerned. We may not be able to do everything, but let a community smile because you are there. A church should not be planted across a community and with all due respect for two, three, four years, nobody around the neighborhood even knows who the pastor is. They've never experienced the love of Jesus. No, sir. Don't wait for them to come. Go and meet them and meet them I bring you the love of Jesus oh but I'm not a Christian it doesn't matter I still love you all the same this is an expression of the love of Jesus I hope this helps this is a bit that we're able to do take this grocery and you leave them thinking you leave them wondering now the Holy Spirit can use that brokenness and minister to them whoever shows you this kind of love you would want to know about the person again when Jesus saw Zacchaeus, that was a tax collector who was hated by everyone. Jesus said, come down, I'm coming to your house. Jesus was not going to his house, but that the man was already yielded. He was asking questions in secret. And Jesus said, come down. Listen, let me tell you the truth. Church, once you are walking in integrity, loving Jesus truthfully, don't be afraid of being controversial. The passion to be loved by everybody will put you in a position of compromises that will make you lose your bishopric. There are times you need to ask yourself, am I walking in integrity? Will this bring glory to the name of the Lord? If the answer is yes, people may not understand now, but they will understand later on. Kindness is always the way of the cross. Love is always the way of the cross. Empathy is always the way of the cross. Forgiveness is always the way of the cross. Mercy is always the way of the cross. I hope you love what you're hearing. This is what it means to be salt. This is what it means to be light. On one hand, we have warfare and prophetic intercession. We have signs and wonders miracles and supernatural manifestations of the hand of God we have a people who are valuable and productive valuable and productive we have a people through their value alongside the graces that they have obtained rising and scaling to a realm of influence where they become potent voices voices that cannot be silenced and then you back that up with such a lavish display of love you have captured any city when you do this yes sir
People do not care how much you know until they know how much you care. It doesn't matter what you know. Most people would not lend you their attention until they see compassion within your heart. Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, let us learn the model from Jesus. He is both lion and lamb. If you are lion alone, you will eat everything including other lambs. If you are lamb alone, you will be eaten by many lions and hyenas. That lion and lamb dimension is very important. There are times you stand as a lion, but there are other times you need to be a lamb. Are we together? There are believers who are only lions, and that is not good. A lion alone will eat anything, and if terribly hungry, will even eat its own cob. A lamb can be so weak, weak to a fault, it will be eaten by everything. So he put a dimension in you that is lion, and he put a dimension in you that is lamb. There is a vicious warrior who knows how to fight in the spirit and birth the purposes of God. But there is a kind believer, full of love and compassion. Both must find expression. Canada, are, you, are we learning? So you want to see territorial revival? Let me recap again. And then we allow the Spirit of God to fall in this place. Spirit break out. Break our walls down. Spirit break out. Heaven come down. Hey, hey, hey. Spirit break out. Break our walls down. Redefining church. Spirit break out. Heaven come down. Spirit break out. Over our minds and over our lives. Break our walls down. Spirit break out. Let heaven come down. Just listen to me. It's a prayer. Spirit break out. Break my walls down. Spirit break out. Let heaven come down. This is what the Holy Spirit is doing. He's redefining territorial revival. That there is a spiritual component to it. There is an intellectual component to it. And there is a physical component to it. The spiritual component is warfare and intercession. The manifestations of the supernatural. The intellectual component. Value, productivity and influence. The physical component. Compassion. Being touched with the feelings of people's infirmity. We call that compassion. Break our walls down. Spirit break out over Canada. Let heaven come down. I'll sing it just one time. Spirit break out. Break our walls down. Spirit break out. Heaven come down. Hallelujah. Why are we gathered tonight? To understand the principles of territorial revival. Why are we gathered here tonight? To experience the miracle working power of this Jesus. Why are we gathered tonight? To be delivered. To take away the shame and the reproach that has marred your life and destiny. Why are we gathered tonight? To call upon the God of heaven.
Why are we gathered tonight? To receive an impartation of graces. The graces that will set you like the foxes of Samson. To return back to your stations with fire. Whether as a worshiper, as a man of God, as a businessman, as a captain of industry. I told you, you listen to me. The revival coming will not have Elijah alone. The revival coming will have Esther, will have Gideon, will have Abraham, will have Daniel. So if you are only searching for Elijah, you are making a mistake. It is not only men of God. There will be businessmen, Josephs. There will be people enthroned by God to be instruments of salvation. Esther, there will be roots. So in your training, you may find out that you are not being trained like Elijah. That does not mean you are not part of the army. Not everybody will be Elijah. So as the grace comes upon you, don't fold your arms saying, I'm not an apostle, I'm not a prophet, I'm not a prayer warrior. You are a businessman, still a witness. You are a parent, still a witness. You are a professor, still a witness. You are a doctor, you are an architect, still a witness. It doesn't matter the geography of your witness, you are still a witness. Are you ready to pray? We are going to pray for five minutes and then I'll begin to minister by the Spirit. Please rise. Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place We'll sing it one more time Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Ruach Elohim Feel this place See the rain of your love Feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear We see the rain of your love We feel the wind of your spirit Now the heartbeat of heaven Let us hear So let it rain let it rain open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it I want you to open your mouth in one minute and begin to cry now is the time to ask the Bible says for everyone that asked my God there is a glory that is going to rest in this place right now I want you to ask ask some for new dimensions in the spirit ask for grace shortly I'm going to be asking you to bring those who are under the anointing out here but now everyone pray online on site go ahead across the overflows make sure you are praying a new dimension in the spirit pray wisdom at another level pray the power of the holy ghost pray influence by the spirit pray speed pray restoration grace is about to rest upon you rest upon your ministry rest upon your business come on canada ali bashalabarakata brandagabalagata 
everyone that asks can receive it if it's for a healing ask if it's for deliverance ask if it's for a job ask if it's for a baby ask go ahead and ask we serve a prayer answering God one more minute you're asking in faith you're asking in faith let it rain let it rain open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain open the floodgates of heaven let it rain let it rain let it rain let it rain shema la basia da 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 ba let it rain until the spirit be poured upon us from on high then the wilderness be counted for a fruitful vine and the fruitful vine be counted for a forest hallelujah 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 now listen to me we are going to go straight to the miracle service God is a prayer answering God God is a healer a restorer an opener of closed doors a rewriter of destinies hallelujah and tonight I want you to listen and please be sensitive I want to start this miracle service by rebuking the spirits that have tied down the destinies of men spirits that have kept men in bondage I'm about to pray and we are going to shout the name Jesus ushers Please, I would ask you to bring those people forward now. And prayer department, you can help the ushers, please, so that we make this very fast. By wisdom, O oh God, heaven's gates open up. With understanding, you order the season. Creating day and night, turning darkness into light. Arranging the stars to your pleasing. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh ye gates, lift up your heads, ancestral yokes, bondages over God's people. Be released now. 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 Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. We break bondages. We break addictions. We break bondages. We break addictions. We declare jubilee. We declare jubilee. We declare jubilee. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You're going to shout that name Jesus one more time. Don't be tired. I'm ministering to you. Hear me. There are certain doors that have refused to open over your life. As you shout that name Jesus, I tell you for some of you, it will swing open. All doors will be open. Are you ready right now? One, two, three, shout Jesus. Doors. Open Ephata Gates Open Destinies Open 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 Rakata Bakata Barakata Open 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 Gates of families Gates of territories by the power of the Holy Ghost, we come by the road of the higher priesthood. Be open, be open, be open. Ephata, be open, be open. Oh yes, kingdom come, kingdom come. We superimpose. The law of sin and death with the law of the spirit of life in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a song in my spirit. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Kadosh, we worship. Kadosh, 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 we worship you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Kadosh, we worship you. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Kadosh, we worship you. and declare over those who are here in front by the power that raised Christ from the dead every legal access Satan has over your life I release you right now I release you right now I release you right now I release your families right now he who the Son sets free is free indeed he who the Son sets free I declare your liberty I declare your liberty in Christ I establish your liberty in Christ in the name of Jesus hear me every case and every condition demonically inspired 
that has tied down your life this moment you are delivered from it this moment you are delivered from it this moment you are delivered from it in the name of Jesus Christ listen to me we are not just bringing you out here for show some of you as you get up to return back you will find out that the sicknesses are gone some of you will find out right here in this auditorium text messages are coming emails are coming then you will know it was the devil that stopped it all the while I decree and declare you are delivered now delivered forever in Jesus name those who are strong enough and can return back to their seat please let them return carefully don't march on anyone don't enjoy anyone let's celebrate them as they go those who are able to go very quickly now hear me how many of you are trusting God for supernatural jobs I want you to believe it there is an anointing for this right now hallelujah hmm. we are going to blow that trumpet over every joblessness as you hear the sound of that trumpet right where you are you receive by faith and i tell you some of you even before this meeting comes to an end you will marvel and wonder at the hand of god the hand of god you don't have to come out just lift your hands you are trusting god remember we just spoke about the empowerment of believers as you hear the sound of the trumpet i want you to believe that an end comes to everything that is not of God those who are not strong enough just leave them when they are strong enough they can stand the Holy Ghost is doing something upon their lives are you ready now father over every hand that is lifted here trusting you for supernatural jobs in the name of Jesus at the shout and at the sound of the trumpet I pray that angels be released to families angels be released to offices to wrought miracles in the name of jesus christ receive it receive it receive it supernatural jobs by the power of the holy ghost supernatural jobs by the power of the holy ghost promotions by the spirit promotions access access unusual access in the name of jesus christ someone is returning with a testimony by the power of the holy ghost returning with a testimony by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah praise the name of the Lord now I don't know how we are going to do this for the sake of those under the anointing please let's just handle them well how many of you and please don't be embarrassed I wish there were enough space but don't just leave them I want to pray for those who have been waiting for the miracle of the fruit of the womb your season has come your season has come now hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on please just listen let's listen to instructions hold on I may not I don't I, I'm not sure that I'll be able to ask you to come out here so that you don't trample on anyone but we are going to pray so I will ask you by faith to lift your hands husband and wife you can lift your hands together we are a family believe blessed is she that believe for unto her there shall be a performance performance we thank God for medicine and our doctors we honor them but the power of God can move beyond the knowledge of medicine God will make a way where there seems to be no way he walks in ways we cannot see he will make a way for me He will be my God Holds me closely to His side 
with love and strength for each new day he will make a way he will make a way please lift your hands those trusting God for the fruit of the womb if you're a woman you can place one hand on your womb as a sign of contact and lift the other hand the devil is a liar we're about to release a sound in this place honestly you believe me I say this by God many of you will stand to testify that the Lord gave you miracle children some twins some triplets against even the results that you've had from medicine and how many of you know that you can stand in for your loved ones hallelujah it is God that is able to make the barren to burst out in joy he has that power Sarah said the Lord has given me a child and all those who hear this will laugh with me place your hand want to pray now father I pray over your sons and daughters many have spent decades waiting in faith for the fruit of the womb you are the god of all flesh the giver of all good things you who did not spare your son but offered him up how much more shall you give us freely all things to enjoy we come having the consciousness of your love and the consciousness of your power now i decree and declare that every spirit entity that is behind delay in childbirth we decree and declare release god's people now right now i declare at the sound of the trumpet supernaturally like mary you will say be it unto me according to your word are you ready now in the name of Jesus I declare may the Lord honor the words of his servants and perform the counsel of his messengers everyone trusting God for the fruit of the womb as surely as the Lord lives by this time next year return with your testimony by this time next year return with your testimony by this time next year return with your testimony yes sir go ahead receive now receive now receive your miracle children receive isaac receive samuel receive john who will be a mighty prophet receive in the name of jesus by the power of the holy ghost we make decrees now in the name of Jesus we'll be praying for the sick shortly how many of you now don't feel embarrassed you are trusting God for anything around your papers immigration whatever it is lift your hands whether it's residency whatever it is just lift your hands by faith hmm this God is a mighty God, oh, my dear people. I tell you sincerely. You are standing in for yourself. Look how many hands. Trusting the miracle worker. Come and do a miracle. A miracle today. You will do a miracle. A miracle today. Miracle worker. Miracle worker. Will you come and do a miracle, a miracle today? You will do a miracle. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Come and change my destiny, my destiny today. You will change my destiny. I want to pray for you you've heard the testimonies please hear me the heart of a king is in the hands of the Lord and like the waves of the sea God can turn it turn it for your favor you believe that 
again as you hear the sound of the trumpet we are ministering with the mistral in the name of jesus i declare whatever it is that has gone wrong around your papers by the mercies of god for some of you in less than one month in less than one month my god will step in i don't know about your god but my god will step in and do a mighty miracle in the name of jesus are you ready for the sound now when you hear the sound i like you to shout i receive by faith are you ready now yes sir i receive supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies by the power of the holy ghost supernatural testimonies supernatural testimonies find favor with the government find favor with the government find favor with the institutions responsible for your papers in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah I sense a very strong healing anointing right now we're about to pray for the sick I know that Jesus heals lay your hands now ladies and gentlemen you came here trusting God for a miracle now is your time to be healed now is your time to be delivered now is your time to be free from diseases and infirmities the same power that saves is the same power that delivers is the same power that heals Jesus is a healing Jesus not just a saving Jesus he can heal he heals the first demonstration of the presence of the kingdom is the healing of the sick Matthew chapter 10 verse 7 and 8 as you go preach saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand then he says verse 8 heal the sick cast out devils raise the dead freely you have received freely give please lay your hands right now everywhere across this beautiful auditorium you are standing in for yourself you are standing in for a mother a father a brother a sister go ahead lay your hands by faith don't doubt go ahead lay your hands if it's a part of your body you cannot touch just make contact with your chest and believe by faith but if it's your head you can lay your hands on your head your eye lay your hands some pain go ahead Jesus the son of the living God wants to touch you right now hallelujah go ahead one thing we ask of you one thing that we desire that as we worship you lord come and change our lives it's our prayer one thing we ask of you one thing that we desire that as we look to you lord come and change our lives arise 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 One thing we ask of you, one thing that we desire, 
that as we worship you, Lord, come and change our lives. Hallelujah. Now, I'm about to pray. I don't know if we're going to have the time to testify because we need to pray over our request. However, I'm going to pray and perhaps we'll take the first three or four testimonies just three or four to give witness to what Jesus has done and is about to do. But I want you to lay your hands right now. I'm going to rebuke that spirit of infirmity and minister healing to your body. Expect the power of God to begin to touch you right now. And when that happens, I will ask Pastor Nat to wrap up with a blast of the trumpet. And afterwards, I will ask you to check yourself. We'll just take three or four testimonies so that we're able to collate our requests, speak prophetically over Canada, and we're done for tonight. In the name of Jesus, lay your hands. Believe. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray over your people scattered across this auditorium you've anointed us to heal the sick to minister your life and your power therefore every spirit of infirmity every devil that is at the back of infirmities of any and all sorts in the name of jesus leave god's people now 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 i declare over you be healed in jesus name be healed in jesus name i bring you the life and the power of the spirit be healed in jesus name headaches be healed in jesus name eye conditions be healed in Jesus name ear conditions be healed in Jesus name blood conditions be healed in Jesus name bone conditions be healed in Jesus name pain hallelujah I'm seeing someone you're having pain around your rib area severe excruciating pain the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ touching you right now there is a lady you are unable to move your neck you know how it feels sometimes when you lie on one side of the neck and you have severe pain you've been having that for a long time as we pray right now i want you to check yourself you find out that that pain is gone that demonic pain is gone everyone with a lump or any growth around your breast your abdomen wherever in the name of jesus i command that lump to leave now i command that lump to leave now the lord is showing me a gentleman I don't know what happened perhaps you put something into your ears and from that time you've been having excruciating pain this is your right ear the power of God is touching you right now in the name of Jesus Christ now the Lord is showing me a lady I don't know what the name of the medical condition is but you are having your stomach bloat it's beginning to bloat it almost looks like you are pregnant but this is not pregnancy it's becoming an embarrassing thing I don't know who that person is but the power of God is touching you right now there are three people I see in my vision the Lord is healing you from pile 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 severe painful pile is being healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ arthritis the lord is healing arthritis you are not able to walk well the power of god is resting upon you right now in the name of jesus christ 
there's someone in fact two people i see you are not able to sleep for more than 30 minutes to one hour it doesn't matter how rested you are once it is night i think there's a medical name for that condition you are sleep apnea what's it called insomnia you are suffering from insomnia you are not able to sleep you lie down and you just keep rolling left and right the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ i don't know what problem you have around your throat but sometimes when you cough you cough out blood this is what i'm seeing you cough out blood the power of god is touching you right now in the name of jesus christ now this case the lord is showing me i have seen it before in fact i've seen it many times you are a lady but you are having a problem with your hair falling like someone who is suffering from cancer but you don't have cancer but you are losing your hair i mean your hair is falling it's almost embarrassing i don't know who that person is this is a demonic condition the power of god is touching you right now touching you right now touching you right now i'm seeing a gentleman um I, I don't know what the condition is but when you go to ease yourself you feel severe pain severe pain you barely are able to ease yourself severe pain sometimes you are there in the in the bathroom for a very long time because of excruciating pain i don't know who that person is but the power of god is touching you this moment shout a believing amen. amen yesterday we prayed over someone's um, shoulder i'm still seeing that case now in the name of jesus every pain around the right shoulder i declare healing for you now anyone with kidney problem be healed right now liver problems be healed right now I'm hearing a name bronchitis bronchitis be healed right now in the name of Jesus peptic ulcer be healed in the name of Jesus pain at the back severe pain be healed in the name of Jesus eye conditions be healed in the name of Jesus the Lord is showing me someone something happened to your toe one of your toenails i don't know what it is it's been very excruciating it looks like the pain is inside the power of god is touching you right now now whether i mention your case or not in the name of jesus christ be healed now 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 in jesus name i pray now very quickly i want you to check yourself by faith from the front to the back check yourself very quickly and the power of god has touched you you can do what you couldn't do don't be afraid don't be ashamed wherever you are as we celebrate them please make your way to the front let's have a few so that we can testify to my left or to my right koinonia are you celebrating them to my left or to my right the power of god has touched you don't sit back leave your seat very quickly and let's hear what jesus has done do what you couldn't do move your body move your hands you need to go to the medical stand to check yourself do so very quickly and please make your way to the front right away there are doctors here to confirm you and will give you an opportunity to share your testimony whilst that is happening please let me have your attention whilst that is happening how many of you are ready with your prayer requests you're ready with your prayer request now here's what i want you to do for me very quickly while we are waiting those who have received miracles are there people coming let's celebrate anyone who are coming please leave your seat and come testify come to my left come to my right apostle i've been healed a miracle has happened right now i can breathe i can move my body the pain is gone please make your way very quickly in the name of jesus whilst that is happening 
let me request very quickly that you send your prayer request to the last person by the left or the extreme aisle so that the ushers can quickly pick the request because shortly after the testimonies we are going to be having prayer over the request let's do that very quickly let's do that very quickly there is a lady who is going to shout now under the anointing now listen i'm sure many people will shout but there is a shout you you, you as loud as this auditorium is you will hear it everybody will hear it why the spirit of god does this sometimes i honestly do not know but it is a sign and a wonder it is something that god is birthing birthing in the life of that lady and her family and the lord is saying i should tell that lady remember ye not the former things nor consider the things of old for behold what god says to one he says to all behold i do a new thing 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 in the name of jesus hallelujah praise the name of the lord are we having people help her please help them so they don't enjoy themselves testimony some of you can come here some of you can come to the other side or are we doing it on one side alone we just need a few okay two okay so if there are too many people there some of you can move here please very quickly let's just have one or two testimonies to the glory of god and then we go straight to the prayer hallelujah shortly after the prayer there will be an impartation for someone your moment of destiny has come you will be encountering the graces needed for your efficiency are we celebrating the testifiers as they come i know it's a long way but please come make your way very quickly let me know when we are ready and we'll take a few testimonies to the glory of the name of the lord to the glory of the name of the lord to the glory of the name of the lord why am i hearing a name regina 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 this is someone's name who is regina i'm hearing a name regina is there someone with such a name regina regina oh it's our mommy can i pray for you ma regina ma please look at me i want to pray for you by the power of the holy spirit the lord is asking me to rebuke the spirit of death i'm not a prophet of doom please don't be afraid but this is what the lord is revealing to me to rebuke the spirit of death from the family of regina rebuke the spirit of death rebuke the spirit of death every plot to bury anybody i'm praying for regina but that applies by faith to everyone please if you are not regina don't come you can you can tap by faith but make sure your name is regina i'm praying against the spirit of death because i'm seeing a vision now and i'm seeing obituary rebuke the spirit of death god reveals to redeem it's not to plant fear the spirit of god drives out fear but i pray i use you as a point of contact ma'am regina all of you your names are regina in the name that is above all names i declare the plot of death over this family right now is broken in the name of jesus is broken in the name of jesus is broken in the name of jesus the lord is showing me someone it's like your mother is a judge um someone in the court of law a judge you know like a legal practitioner but a judge i'm seeing the lord wants me to pray for that person your mother is a judge please if there is such a person let me just speak over your life quickly i didn't even want to you know speak prophesy because of our time it takes a lot of time but we stretch our hands over when you find such a person please i want to pray for you 
I'm seeing something um, that the Lord wants us to rebuke. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, mommy, for you and everyone here represented, the sound of death and mourning will not be heard in your family. The sound of death and mourning, I say it again, will not be heard in your family. You are delivered from the snare of the fowler in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be embarrassed, but I'm seeing something that looks like a mast. I'm seeing something that looks like a mast, like a fibroid. In the name of Jesus. I don't know if it's for someone here or for someone who is connecting. I don't mean to embarrass you, but in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare. If there's any of you standing here having any growth, any fibroid, in the name of Jesus, we curse it now by the power of the Holy Ghost. We curse it now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. You are free and free forever in Jesus' name. Do we have a lady? I'm still, the Lord is still prevailing on me. Please return to your seat. The lady whose mother, your mom is a judge, where? Where are you from? Okay, okay, the mics are busy. But she's from where? Cameroon. And your mom is a judge. What's her name? She's a judge there? Yes. I want to pray for her. Huh? Because I'm seeing a situation where someone is on her way to court and collapses. And that's the end of it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we use her as a point of contact to pray for everyone who is in the judiciary. In the name of Jesus, every power that wants to waste your life, we come against it now. And for you, my dear, I pray for you and for your mother. She will live and not die. We speak life to her in Jesus' name. Are we ready for the testimonies? Let's take a few testimonies to the glory of God. Whilst we're doing that, please, let's collate the requests. If you are yet to submit your request, you wave it and there'll be ushers to help you. Please, ushers, just look out very quickly so that we collate everything very quickly. Yes, sir, very quickly. Apostle, this will interest you. You gave a word tonight about somebody trying to clean their air and then they damage that air. A month ago, he was trying to clean his ear, and then since then, he's not been able to hear from that particular ear. Yes. But tonight, as you were praying, the power of God came upon his ear. Now he can hear clearly from that You are able ear. to hear. How long has this been? Like a month. I couldn't hear properly with this ear for a month. In the name of Jesus. Let's celebrate Jesus. It never returns to him again. Amen. God bless you. Very quickly. Next person, very quickly. Some days ago, he began to notice a growth on the center of his chest yes and like every other day it was growing bigger and bigger like a lump there tonight he felt it just before you prayed for the chest and immediately after the prayer for the chest the lump the growth disappeared completely you can't find it where was it touch it it's gone how long has that been five days like five days in the name of jesus it will never return never return it goes forever let's celebrate miracles hallelujah yes also, tonight you gave a word about pain around the neck, stroke the shoulder. Yes. And as you were describing it, it was the exact situation. She couldn't move her hand. Her neck was painful. And this has been going on for a while. But tonight, as you prayed, it's been intermittent. Do what like you couldn't do, my dear. Any pain. Any pain. It's gone forever. In the name of Jesus Christ, we declare your miracle sealed by the blood in Jesus' name. Let's give a big God bless you. Big God bless you. Likewise herself, this has been going on for two years, but for her, it's been going on for some days. She was also feeling pain in her neck. She thought maybe she woke up with it or she slept on that side. Yes. But it's been really excruciating. But tonight as you pray... How do you feel now, my dear? I can't feel any pain. Completely. Gone. Do this. Any pain? No. Let's give Jesus praise. Amen. Go ahead. Apostle, he has had pain in his right ear extending into his jaw pain. for a long time. Yes, sir. And while you prayed, he felt no pain anymore. His ears popped open. Completely. Completely. In the name of Jesus, I declare you are healed now. Healed forever. Let's celebrate Jesus. Very quickly. And for him, in September, he had an injury while he was playing football. He dislocated his right shoulder. Yes. And since then, he has had pain with that. You but dislocated your right shoulder. Three times. Three times. And, and right now? Right now, it's better. It was a Do what you couldn't do before. Any pain? Any pain? Let's celebrate Jesus, Canada. God bless you. It never returns again. Go ahead. 
he had torn his right ligament and had not been able to use his right leg properly. Yes. But while you prayed, he became pain free. The pain is gone. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, you are healed and healed forever. Never returns to you again. Let's celebrate Jesus. Pain in his ankles. So he couldn't move his ankle before. He couldn't run. But while you prayed now, he can run and he's pain free. He knows he's healed. Yes. Amazing. Thank My you. friend, how are you? I'm good, sir. What's your name? Iano Lua. Can you run? Very smart young man. May God bless you. God bless you. You are healed, healed forever in Jesus' name. Are we ready? Okay, so let's have... Who is ready now? Praise the name of the Lord. Who is yet to submit their request? Please, let's, let's have it very quickly. For those of you... Oh dear. We still have people waving their requests. Ushers, can you help us? You may come to the front. We still have the pastors... Um, we do this by faith it's not a ritual it's by faith connecting to the power of god i believe in the god that answers prayer hallelujah praise the name of the lord okay also, she has had low blood pressure she showed me the blood pressure on the monitor low Six blood pressure yes sir. let me hear her speak for a moment so I had a low blood pressure. I was in ICU, liver cirrhosis, portal hypertension, celiac, cephicus, varices, low white blood cell, low uh, platelets, and all those things. So I came apologies out, that you can't hear her. I but came, go ahead. I came out uh, Sunday. I was released from the hospital, and I made it to the church. You and came from the hospital on Sunday. I was released, but I came yesterday. But you came yesterday. Yesterday. And, and now, I know, I know I could walk, but I was not like living in a cloud type of thing. I made it. I was walking and driving and everything. But when Spirit of God came upon me, I was on the treadmill. I was Run. running and jumping. Run. Low blood pressure. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, your healing is perfected forever. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Let's celebrate her. Hallelujah. Okay, can we do one or two more? I promised three, but we've extended uh, my apologies. Sometimes there are so many people, I can imagine that they are itching to testify. Go ahead, please. So she came, she had an accident that affected her neck and this side of her body, and she has been. You had pain. an accident? When? I had an accident last year, okay. uh, July, sorry, August, and um, I had to go through therapy chiropractor physiotherapy because I couldn't use my neck anymore which affected my 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 feet and when you said there's a lady that has a neck pain and I came in the devil wanted me to sit all through and I said I'm not gonna sit and I said I'm gonna stand and pray and receive my and right healing. now what happened to you my neck I, I can turn my neck and I just want to give glory to God in the name of Jesus healed forever God bless you God bless you. Apostle, this lady has been colorblind for five years. She has her glasses right here. She can't identify colors without wearing these glasses. But tonight, the power of God came upon her eyes. She can see any color. She can identify colors distinctly. Come on, Canada. Come on, Canada. What do you see me wearing? Green. Give Jesus praise. Listen. Um, most people, most people trivialize miracles because they do not know the inconvenience. That pain. Are we together now? You know what it means to be colorblind? There are a few lower animals that are colorblind. And it's affected their efficiency as animals. When a human is colorblind, I know one thing for sure. Your life will not be optimized when you're colorblind. And now look what Jesus has done to this lady. Place your hand on your eye in the name of Jesus. Let this miracle remain permanent by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. The Bible says to resist temptation. Guys, what are you doing? Apostle. Okay, so, yes, okay. Let's, let's take one here. Let's take one here. This dear lady has been through some mental health 
issues for close to two years. Mental health. Yes, sir. Now I'm interested in this one. Go ahead. She's gone to the hospital back and forth. They've not been able to resolve the issues. She feels this heaviness around her head. She hears voices. She's not clear in her thoughts. She's just not herself. But tonight, during the praise and worship, she just felt that heaviness lift. And now her thoughts are clear. The weight is gone. She's completely healed. Hallelujah. Listen. Did you know there is something called the spirit of heaviness? Yes, sir. That it can rest upon a man causing all of these suicidal thoughts, depression. That's your daughter. Run to your daughter. Oh dear. In the name of Jesus, she's crying. I pray for you and I pray for the entire family by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit that is back of mental health. And as I use this lady to pray for every family here, you have someone in your family who is a victim of a mental health condition. Let me extend it to pray for those who have autistic children. Let me extend it to pray for those who are suffering from depression, suicidal thoughts. In the name of Jesus, we use this testimony as a connection point. We bring healing to such families. Shout a louder amen. We bring healing to such families. Mental health conditions be healed. Autistic conditions be healed. Depression, go. Suicidal thoughts, go. Low self-esteem, go. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. Let's give them a big hand clap. Praise the name of the Lord. Go ahead. Apostle, she tore her left patella ligament in her knee and she has been having pain since then. Doctor, unable to doctor, move. doctor. Go ahead. Speak again. She tore. Praise so I, I tore my patella ligament per the doctor's report when I was playing soccer. Okay. And it's been hurting for like three weeks. And now? And now the pain is gone. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Any pain. Look at this. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare it never returns to you again. Amen. The Bible says he keepeth his bones and none is broken. Amen. I declare preservation for you. Amen. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Apostle, there is an interesting testimony here. Okay. <laughs> Two days ago, our study work permit got expired, which meant she was supposed to be on her way out. But tonight, right here, she got an email right here tonight. <laughs> right here. Right here. Tonight. You have the email there? The email is right Have you here. seen it? Yes, sir. What does it say? Approved. Approved. Finally, finally. name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. Go ahead. Apostle, yesterday you mentioned the case of pain in the abdomen that felt like appendicitis but was not appendix. Yes. She said she was that lady but unfortunately she wasn't able to come out to share that testimony. She had done several scans but her appendix was fine but she kept feeling the pain. But when you mentioned the case yesterday, she's pain free. Completely. Completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. My apologies for sake of time. Let's stretch our hands towards our beautiful people who've received their miracles. Go ahead. Speak words of faith over them in the name of Jesus. We don't have the time, unfortunately. So many miracles, my God. So many miracles. I, I feel, I almost feel guilty 
but we have to cut um, the testimonies at this point however please do me a favor it would be nice to let them record their testimonies we can always share it right we can share it back home or share it anywhere else so please um, medical people let's get the testimonies let's put it on record but we decree and declare in the name of Jesus that your testimonies remain permanent and for those of you who were not able to make it your testimonies remain permanent in Jesus name three things we're going to do quickly and then we'll wrap up the service please rise we're going to pray over these requests now everyone please rise I love to pray over requests like this because it is the most accurate representation of your expectations the Bible says be anxious for nothing it says but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your requests be made known don't assume let your requests be made known hallelujah praise the name of the Lord and I have uh, pleaded with a few maybe not all but a few of the servants of the Lord I believe in the corporate anointing and just to honor some of the servants of God within this land I've requested that a few of them be brought up so let's honor them as they come may not be all of them but just a few and then please help us with one mic we're going to be praying over this request and they'll be speaking over your life we'll do the impartation the altar call and then we're done pastor Knight, please come you're going to help you're going to join me as we do this Canada, are you ready to receive answers? Honestly, I believe in this. Absolutely with all my heart. I believe in the covenant of answered prayers. Let's honor the men and women of God. Oh, well, just the men. There's no woman of God here. God bless you. Hallelujah. I know you came with your wife, but you're standing in for her. God bless you. Amen. Now, here's what we're going to do. We're going to stretch your hands by faith. As we connect we're going to speak over this for a moment and then I'll just speak over it to wrap up and then the men of God are going to be speaking over everyone just releasing graces and just speaking over our lives are you ready to receive praise the Lord stretch your hands and begin to declare in the name of Jesus we declare prophetically ah Lord visit families change stories rewrite test destinies in the name of Jesus we are praying the church is praying the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is praying to the God that answers prayers to the God that answers prayers turn captivities around turn situations around in the name of Jesus give Canada testimonies give Canada testimonies by the power of the Holy Ghost Amen my prayer is from Revelations Can you hear? Revelations 10 verse 5 I'm just going to blow my prayer if you have the NLT please put it very quickly Revelations 10 verse 5 that's what I'm led to pray then the angel I saw standing on the sea and on the land raised his right hand towards heaven. The angel of this house is right here. He swore an oath in the name of the one who lives forever and ever, who created the heavens and everything in them, the earth and everything in it, and the sea and everything in it. He said, there will be no more delay. Listen, listen. Hallelujah. The seventh, Hallelujah. When the seventh angel blows his trumpet, God's mysterious plan will be fulfilled. It will happen just as he announced it to his servants, the prophet. As I blow the horn, you will shout the hallelujah, and there is no more delay. <laughs> hallelujah I seal this prayer and I decree and declare that every request here represented we stand by the corporate anointing and we declare that these Egyptians you see today you will see them no more forever 
you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever and like Pastor Nath read I declare speedy answers I say it again speedy answers in the name of Jesus now the men of God are going to be speaking over your lives I believe in impartation and we we'll just run the mic through them and I'll wrap up there are graces that are deposited they stand representing priesthood in Canada and then Pastor Nath is going to speak over your life and then um, we'll do the impartation very quickly and then I'll do an altar call how many of you believe in what is happening here go ahead sir as they make these declarations very quickly I want you to receive by you by faith take away familiarity let your heart be open to receive please go ahead sir Father, in the name of Jesus Shabalakos. in unity of hearts and faith today I declare that your breath will rest upon your people yeah. we declare that from this moment they receive sudden answers yeah. in the name of Jesus yeah. In accordance to Amos chapter 9 and verse 13 from the Message Bible, we decree that things will begin to happen in their lives so fast that going forward it will be back-to-back -back miracles. We declare 24-hour miracles. We declare 48-hour miracles. We declare 78-hour miracles. In the name of Jesus. The same way the bones began to come together. I declare that their answers begin to come together. May favor begin to come together. May open doors begin to come together. In the mighty name of Jesus. This is their season of lifting. This is their season of testimony. This is their season of breakthrough. In Jesus name. And so Father we give you thanks. You said in your word, Lord Jesus, that you've not asked the seed of Jacob to seek you in vain. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, as many that have laid their petitions before you, even to those who couldn't even have written it out, including those who are watching online, we declare by this corporate anointing tonight in the name of Jesus that everything turns into a testimony. In the name of Jesus, I declare by the authority of heaven, your testimony begins now. In the name of Jesus, beginning from this moment, unto him that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, above all he can ask, think, or even imagine, according to his power that's a work in your life, begin to receive answers. In the name of Jesus. As God's servant has declared it, we declare it so in the name of Jesus. Your situations, they are changed. Your silence just turns into joy. The Lord is giving you double for your trouble. All of joy for morning. Receive garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. I declare in the name of Jesus, your name is changed. Your name is changed. Your name is changed in the name of Jesus. Receive testimonies traceable to this meeting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We give you praise, Abba Father, because you are the God that confirms the words of your servant and performs the counsels of your messenger. Thank you, Yahweh. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. Hallelujah. Please, media, give me Psalm 72, verse 8. Psalm 72, verse 8, Apostle, is the scriptures that Canada was founded upon. Psalm 72, verse 8. And I want to prophesy it because we have from PEI here. I can quote it, but I need it there. Psalm 72, verse 8, King James Version. You shall have dominion from sea to sea. He says, and he shall have dominion also from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth listen to me listen i agree with the servant of god that god had brought into this city this morning it was a witness the lord said to me the dark cloud has been rolled away and so as one of the co-laborers 
in this country. Hear me, hear me. From PEI to Nunavut to Nova Scotia to New Brunswick to Quebec to Ontario to Manitoba to Saskatchewan to Alberta to British Columbia and all the territories. I declare as we live here, we are having dominion from sea to sea, from sea to sea, from sea to sea. In case you don't know and you are in this country, write these scriptures. This is the foundation of Canada that the forefathers has founded this country. And I declare from today it has jumped to a reality in your life. Your story has changed to glory. Hear me? I stand prophetically. If in case you don't know Manitoba, Manitoba is the center of Canada. And I happen to be from Manitoba. So I declare, standing in the center, I command in the name of Jesus Christ, whatever has not been released, I command from heaven, I declare, come your way. It goes to the west. It goes to the east. It goes to the north. It goes to the south. In the name of Jesus, you are changed. Your story has changed to glory. So shall it be. Revival has begun. Father, in the name of Jesus, we agree with your servant, the angel over this commission, and we declare over your people, open doors in the name of Jesus. Every closed doors be opened in the name of Jesus. From the north gate to the south gate, from the east gate to the west gate, have dominion in the name of Jesus. We decree and declare, Every request that has been raised in this place today, we agree together with the church in this place. We call those requests done in the name of Jesus. The servant of God came with multiple fold of grace. Whatever grace that you need for your call, for your assignment, for your territory, receive it now in Jesus' name. Tonight, we received grace to become lampstands. We decree and declare everyone, irrespective of where you came from, begin to take dominion in your territory. In the name of Jesus, we pray concerning those who are watching online. The same grace present in this place rests upon you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Father, in the name of Jesus. Your word says, Itato, have we asked nothing in your name? When we ask, we will receive that our joy might be full in you. And so, Lord, every of these requests, let them become testimony. Let them become testimony. Let them become testimony. In the name of Jesus. Your word also says in Genesis 1.28. You gave unto man the commandment to be fruitful. To multiply. To replenish the earth. To subdue. And to have dominion. Every of your children gathered here. And as many join in, oh God, yes, Lord, upon this corporate altar, Lord, I stand upon the graces represented here, and I decree from this day you will have dominion in career, you will have dominion in your family life, you will have dominion in your spiritual life, you will have dominion. In your finances, you will have dominion. In the name of Jesus, 
Oh Canada, hear the word of the living God. It is written, Marika Tapalia Trobo Mushaka Palia. Ah, from this moment, from this moment, we take back, yes, the mantle. Oh, from the hand of the enemy, we enthrone the lordship of Jesus in the places of power from the federal government to all the provinces. We decree, let Jesus reign from coast to coast from prince edward island yes to british columbia let jesus reign let the knowledge of the lord flood this nation as the water covers the sea lord i ask let your people return with testimony with testimony your word says day ah elaga de to skapaya we are sold in tears. Let us reap in joy. Bearing our sheets with us. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Father in the heaven, we give you thanks for the things you have done. Thank you for Canada. Thank you for sending us Thank you for the things you've already done. Three things, Lord. We declare that the covering that was cast over this nation has been taken away. In the name of Jesus. Number two, we declare Canada, arise and shine for your light is come. The glory, the Shekinah glory of the Lord is risen upon you number three father as one who has found grace to stand and minister before you as a sound carrier wait wait guys i declare right now such as i have that is needed in this nation to proliferate and to trigger and to drive this revival. The anointings you've placed on my life that will be needed in this land for everyone who is called to stand before you in worship as a minstrel. In the next 10, 15 seconds, Lord, lay your hand on them. Paul said, I long to come to you to the intent to impart upon you spiritual gifts that you may be established the grace to carry sounds from heaven I release now in the name of Jesus let the prophetic psalmists arise let the scribes arise let the ministers arise let the psalmists arise from this land will flow sounds to the ends of the earth. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. amen and amen. Please, let's honor the men of God as they return. Hallelujah. We're still praying. We're wrapping up. When God sends a man, he sends him with a message, a mandate, and with graces and we've already begun the impartation but i just want to release these graces upon us there are graces that makes things happen things do not just happen and while i speak them over your life please open up your heart and receive every grace that comes from this altar is for your taking are you ready in the name of jesus i stretch my hands there is a spirit in man eli hussein and the breath of the Almighty maketh men of understanding. I pray for you. The spirit of wisdom and of understanding. Let it rest on you. Let it rest on leaders. Let it rest on parents. Let it rest on businessmen. Witty inventions. Manifestations of a strange order of wisdom. The ability to comprehend at an unusual dimension. I release it upon you now in the name of Jesus. 
Hallelujah. You've heard people give testimonies about the grace called speed. It is true. God can help a man. He can give a man speed. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over someone who has lost time and is trusting God for acceleration. I call upon the God who is the giver of all graces. Receive the grace for speed. Take that grace now. Take it in ministry. Take that grace now. Let it speak in your life. Dominion over time. Dominion over time. I release that grace. Help that lady. Dominion over time. I release that grace from the depth of my spirit. Let it rest upon you. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to pray the favor of God upon your life. This grace called favor that has redefined the destinies of men, redefined the destinies of territories. I pray for you, Koinonia Canada, body of Christ in Canada, in the name of Jesus, such as I have, I pray for you by mercy. Let this grace called favor rest upon you now let this grace called favor rest upon you now unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance i say it again unusual kindness unusual access unusual acceptance by this grace you will lay up gold as dust in the name of jesus Take that grace. Take that fire. Let it follow you to your office. Let it follow you to your homes. Let it follow you to every nation. Go and prosper by this grace called favor. May men arise to help you. May men arise to help you. Kings will entreat your favor in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is the gift of men. It's a grace. It says you will call on one and a nation will answer. It's a grace. You don't just call on men and they answer because you have something to say. There is a grace that compels men. Gideon blew a shofar and 33,000 people left their homes and they showed up to a point God had to say drive some back in the name of Jesus I pray for you the grace that compels help us the grace that compels divine connectors the grace that compels men of influence the grace that compels gifted men the grace that compels burden bearers let it rest upon you now you will never be without help you will never be without help in the name of jesus hallelujah i pray for everyone who has been called to serve in the fivefold ministry the apostolic office the prophetic office evangelistic office the office of a pastor, the office of a teacher. I stand by the privilege of this apostolic office and I decree and declare everything locked up within your spirit that needs to find expression. I stand by the rod of the apostolic and the prophetic. I activate it now. Signs and wonders help them. I activate it now. Kingdom influence. I activate it now access to the ears of kings access to the ears of nobles I release that grace upon you now extraordinary dimensions of revelation I release that grace upon you now be effective in ministry the grace to win souls the grace to be a soul winner in the name of Jesus receive it now 
hallelujah the final impartation i feel stirred in my heart to release there is a grace for honor the bible says this honor no man take it to himself you can respect yourself but you cannot honor yourself honor is conferred thou shalt take joshua the son of none in whom is the spirit and thou shalt lay your hands upon him it says then thou shalt take some of your honor honor is transferable what is honor the grace that makes men perceive you to match your value to match your sacrifice and to reward you thus is called honor the grace it makes men to perceive you correctly matching your labor in the spirit matching your sacrifice and they are compelled to reward you as touching their perception of your true worth it's called honor many people do not have honor this is why they are despised i pray for you in the name of jesus where you have been rejected where you have been shortchanged by life may this grace for honor let it rest upon you now may it rest upon you now you will never go to a nation that despises you you will never go to a place where they demean downplay and reject your value may this grace speak in your life in the name of jesus christ hallelujah this is our final night but I want to pray for the work of the kingdom in Canada I thank God that we have servants of the living God here representing the pastorate and the body of Christ I pray for the body of Christ over Canada in the name of Jesus fresh fire upon your altar fresh prayer fire upon your altar fresh passion for the world let it rest upon you the grace to desire corporate fellowship that your churches will no longer be empty there will be men and women saying come let us go to the house of the lord so that he will teach us his ways in the name of jesus christ and because god has sent us here we declare greater economic emancipation for god's people you will not beg i say it again you will not beg the god of all grace will arrange men to help you to enter your wealthy place on time in jesus name we pray give jesus a big hand clap hallelujah let me your attention for one last time I want to make the altar call what a night amazing this is our final night and someone needs to make Jesus Lord of his life we had a harvest yesterday we had a harvest this morning and I believe for your sake please lend me your attention for your sake Jesus is given an opportunity again so you are here and you are saying apostle I need this Jesus this Jesus that you've so spoken about, this Jesus that Pastor Nathaniel has so worshipped and spoken about, this Jesus we have so praised, wherever you are, you are rededicating your life to Jesus or you are making a first time decision. Our dear uncle is already here in front. Wherever you are, leave your seat as I count one to five. Now let me request that you take your bags, your Bibles, Whatever item you came with on your way out, please do not leave anything behind for your security. Wherever you are, in the name of Jesus, I'm counting one to five. I want you to leave your seat. We are ready to receive you. You are running to Jesus. You are saying, Apostle, I want my life changed. I want to experience the saving power of this Jesus. As I count one to five, please leave your seat in a hurry and come stand right before me one let's celebrate them as they come let's celebrate them as they come canada are you tired of seeing souls saved are you tired of experiencing a harvest of souls two
come those who are following online be prepared to join us i pray three if you're coming please make haste please make haste let's celebrate souls coming to jesus declaring his lordship over their lives god bless you young and old come male and female come come god bless you god bless you god bless you god bless you canada keep clapping god bless you canada keep clapping let's appreciate them as they come four apostle i'm not sure if i'm saved is it all right to join them absolutely please join them and make this decision once and for all is the wisest decision you can make on this side of god's kingdom come god bless you god bless you doesn't matter what you have done or not done he's ready to accept you and to give you a new beginning hallelujah amen please look at me my dear brothers and sisters thank you for giving me the honor to lead you to this jesus as a final function before we leave your nation the bible says as many who will come to him he will in no wise cast away i want you to know that jesus loves you it's not a preacher's talk he really does he loves you and he gave his life for you and i and you're about to make the greatest decision the wisest decision that you've ever made in your life i want you to believe it mean business with jesus whilst you make this confession is it all right if i request that you lift your right hand as a sign of surrender high above your head not to joshua selman not to pastor nathaniel bassi but to jesus the king say this after me as loud as you can say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin right now i receive you into my heart be my savior be my lord and be my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life from tonight i am a child of god i go forward ever and backward never amen keep your beautiful hands lifted father thank you thank you for my brothers and sisters thank you for the boldness you have given them to make this declaration and by the authority of god's word i declare your sins forgiven in the name of jesus i call you the righteousness of god and i declare that you have the life of god from tonight the grace to live the victorious christian life i release upon you and i declare that you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name we pray in jesus name we pray now please look to my left that will be your right there are counselors zealous and happy they are waving the placards all the way please do me a favor cooperate with them just for a few minutes they will have a word and a prayer with you and then you'll be released to return back to your seat let's honor god's people as they go god bless you god bless you god bless you canada this is your last assignment give them a big god bless you god bless you let's celebrate this final harvest for jesus hallelujah amen praise the name of the lord canada thank you thank you thank you for your love thank you for allowing us come with the gospel the power the message that works the message that saves i want to use this opportunity to tender my sincere and heartfelt appreciation to every man and every woman of God. Let's honor the spiritual leaders over this land. These are a few representing the many who are scattered across 
thank you for allowing us come into your nation i want to thank our beautiful workforce here in canada can you give our workforce a big god bless you thank you my dear people i love you with all my heart for your prayers for your sacrifices for your labor thank you hallelujah i want to appreciate the team the leadership here in canada we have a leadership team in canada they have done incredibly well give them a big god bless you hallelujah and i want to thank the koinonia team that has traveled some from uk some from abuja some even from us please give them a big god bless you thank you thank you hallelujah what do we say to our very own pastor nathaniel bassi thank you sir thank you thank you i was i was making a joke with him and, and I, I said pastor sorry we've stretched you i mean he was with us in the u.s three sessions he's with us here three sessions thank you thank you for your love let's give him a big koinonia god bless you hallelujah i equally want to thank i equally want to thank our online family how many of you know that those those who have followed diligently online by far outweigh everyone who's been here and so let's give our online family a big god bless you from nigeria to south africa to kenya to uk to america to canada asia thank you thank you thank you for connecting in the name of jesus christ hallelujah hallelujah my final charge to us is to love jesus with all your heart when all is said and done the most important decision in your life is your love for jesus press to know him press to love him and press to serve him press to know him press to love him press to serve him we leave this nation tomorrow but we leave this nation with the blessings of the lord you have received me you have received us in the name of the lord i declare by the power of the holy spirit that it will be for you from glory to glory and then koinonia canada i bless you in the name of jesus let the hand of god rest upon you every grace you have seen upon this ministry you will replicate it in this land in the mighty and matchless name of jesus christ amen and amen is it all right if we close please rise hallelujah now hear me it will not be fair if we do not close the way we closed in canada so we are going to i mean the way we closed in the u.s we are going to close and i will step back and leave you with pastor nat there's going to be at least 10 minutes of uncensored praise someone is going to dance in thanksgiving are we together now praise the name of the lord so we did something in in um us is it all right to put our lights on and wave it to jesus it's not a ritual it's an act of love we're saying we're lampstands light bearers go ahead your phone light is needed Come on, this is not all. Let it shine. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness. Shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with your Father's glory. Flow. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flow the nations with grace and glory. Send forth your your life
right on in the name of Jesus I decree and declare this is how your destinies will shine this is how the glory of God will shine in your life shine over your home shine over your jobs in the name of Jesus shout amen three times amen amen and amen God bless you God bless you God bless you God bless you amen please just give me a minute father you sent us here and we thank you I bow my knees to you oh God of all grace let no flesh glory in your presence this is beyond Joshua Selman I'm not ashamed to let the nations know that you are the reason for every miracle while they look unto us as vessels we point them to you the King and the Savior and Lord I pray that forever men will know that there is nothing we have outside of the grace that you have given therefore Lord in the presence of your people I say thank you for your mercies thank you for your grace thank you for confirming your word thank you for an amazing encounter we leave Canada blessed we leave Canada revived in the name of Jesus and I pray oh God that you remain enthroned over Canada you remain enthroned over North America and let your glory permeate the entire globe to Jesus be all the glory amen and amen amen and amen together let's share the grace in fellowship and afterwards you'll be ready to sing songs of praise and dance in celebration are you ready now the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forever amen surely goodness and mercies follow us all the days of our lives as we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever and ever Canada I love you and God bless you somebody get something in your hand the Lord has done it finally 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 the Lord has done it Finally, hey, the Lord has done it. Finally, finally, you are not permitted to just stand now. The Lord has done it. Finally, hey, finally. I said, The Lord has done it. Finally, congratulations. Finally.
There is a way we express it. If you are from Nigeria, you put your hand on your head. If you are from Africa, where are my people? Where are they? Jesus, yeah. you have done it again. Jesus, yeah. in your spirit. Hey, what was impossible? You made possible. Jesus, yeah. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words, let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well, that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us. Thank you.